Today we're riding our Mooncoil TK1 trike. This is Sunday morning, just a great morning to get out and ride. Wanted to get out and a little more footage on the TK1. Been really dry around here for the last uh, three weeks. It's uh, We're not supposed to get any rain for the next 10 days, so. I've been having to do quite a bit of watering on my yard and my plants. Most of my neighbors think, well, you know what, let Mother Nature take care of itself. But when I invest over $500 in uh, perennials, I want to keep them watered. We don't want them dying on us. I got out and rode a little bit yesterday, went downtown. That video is coming out on uh, Monday night. This is Sunday. And this video will be coming out this coming Wednesday. I really love the cruise control on this trike. You just hold the minus button down for a few seconds and uh, off you go in cruise control. All you got to do is uh, hit the brakes and start pedaling again and you're back in regular mode. Well, I'm only, they only do 15 and a half, which is top speed on this trike, but there's some will go 25. That's moving pretty good. The order you get, you definitely want these things. Guy was wondering how fast I was going, and he's riding a regular 10 speed, and he, he was huffing and puffing. I got two new drones coming in. I got a 4K, and I got a um, 8K drone coming in for my channel. That'll be some interesting footage. Both drones can follow you at 26 mile per hour, where the one I have only follows you at about 10 mile an hour and it'll lose you. So that was the main feature that I was after. Getting some more interesting footage at a higher speed. And with my um, Hover Air X1, it only has 2.7 resolution where the one drone is 4K and the other drone is up to 8K. Now, is 8K kind of overkill? Probably. But as they are um, improving the drones and the way they're made, I want to be ready for higher resolution, so I went ahead and purchased the 8K drone. I believe one is Hover Air X1 Max, Pro Max. And I believe the other one is a DJI. And I think it's the DJI Neo. So them two drones are uh, coming in. I'm thinking sometime late September, early October on the drones. I got a new uh, Action 4 camera coming in. The same exact one I have on my chest right now that you're seeing. But I have the Action 3 pocket camera and I don't like the clarity of the camera in 4K. You can see things very clear up close to you but if you've got it on your chest going forward it really um, it hinders the background. It's kind of not really bad, but it's kind of uh, out of focus, shall we say. Where the uh, Action Camera 4 does an extremely good job on uh, distances for sure. So yeah, I'm looking forward to reviewing that coming up. I've also got a couple um, bikes coming in. I've got my HJ1 tri hauler trike. It's a thousand watt motor, and I'll be doing some reviews on that. It should be in either Tuesday or Wednesday, but I'm thinking Tuesday. They shipped out of California, and it's going to Akron, Ohio, back down to Dayton, Ohio, where I live.
And the first trike they sent me, I had to send back. As soon as I started riding it on the first maiden ride, I heard a bunch of noise in the back and the chain come off and the belt, the bolts were shredded that goes back to my rear gear. And the uh, gear was just flopping around on the axle, so I sent that back and they were very quick to uh, respond. So I shipped it back last Monday. And as soon as I shipped it, they shipped out a new one on this past Wednesday. So I'm looking forward to that too. And then I've got another e-bike coming in. It's got a 20 amp, 20 volt, 60 amp power battery. So 60 amp hours should get me between 100 to 150 miles on that e-bike. I won't release the name yet. I might put the picture up on the video here of the um, bike that's coming in. I'm just waiting for the ship to land in California from China so they can ship that one to me. So those are a couple things coming up on my channel. I'll be doing just a little bit of drone coverage today and uh, I may do a separate video just for drone coverage. Be a short one, maybe five minutes, six minutes. But I don't want to incorporate it into the uh, video that I'm shooting in 4K because the drone is only 2.7 and what it does is when I incorporate it with a 4K video, it actually knocks it down to uh, 2.7 resolution. And that was the reason I purchased the other two drones, for that reason. Now, don't get me wrong, I love my uh, Hover Air X1 with sure. Goes a fat tire bike. But we got just a gorgeous morning out here. Little slight breeze blowing and probably be a 45 to an hour long video. We're going to cut it down to about 20 minutes maybe. So it'll be a shorter video for sure, which I'm trying to do on all my videos now. Hour long videos are just very monotonous, very boring, and nobody stays on them very long anyway. So I'm going to correct that. I think I've got 218 miles on this trike now. So that's quite a bit. Had a little over a month maybe now, five weeks, something like that. I am also getting in a, um, a little scooter for um, like a three-wheeled scooter, kind of like a trike. Might be four-wheel actually. Companies um, getting ready to send me the shipping information. They just reached out to me and really liked the reviews I was doing for seniors. So. They want to send me one of their handicap accessible um, scooters to ride, and I'd say I most certainly will. It'll only do about five and a half mile an hour, but you should be able to get about 12 miles range out of it. It's made out of um, very lightweight uh, material. And I know it's got some carbon fiber in it for sure. And even with the battery on it, it only weighs something like 46 pounds. And it folds completely flat. So I am really looking forward to reviewing that for this company. So that's coming up here uh, very shortly as well. We're heading down to our park where we do a lot of uh, drone coverage and some thumbnail still shots and things like that so we're gonna get a couple thumbnails for the video and then the drone coverage of course will be me riding the bike now I know for some of you folks um, you've seen a lot of these videos and I really appreciate your subscription to my channel but there's also I'm gaining a lot of new people as well so they have not seen some of these videos that I do uh, in different uh, areas where I go quite often. So anybody new to my channel, welcome. 
I try to put out between three and five videos every week. So there's plenty of content for you guys to see. Here we are at a park right here. Uh, we'll go up to our normal shelter and uh, we'll get some uh, thumbnails and some uh, video writing with and without the drone. Here's a couple still shots for you guys. Uh, me riding the Mooncool TK1. This is an absolute fabulous trike. It is a trike that has absolutely changed how I get around. Rather it be going to the grocery store or pharmacy, wherever, this trike will get it done for me. It does very well off-road in grass. I've got a couple videos out there about that. So, yeah, it's just a wonderful trike and if it's something you guys want to look at, I have a description down in the uh, link down in the description box for you guys. Alright guys, we are um, going to do a return trip here and uh, just a little bit of coverage on my um, handlebar mount here. So the camera's right back on me and uh, yeah, we're going to head back up the trail and head towards the house. Got to do a little bit of uh, riding in the grass here to get up to the um, asphalt trail. So can this can this TK1 trike handle um, heavy terrain? Absolutely. I have been on several trail rides so far with this, and it's performed really, really well. So yeah, you can do off-roading on this as well. Now you can't do extreme off-roading, obviously, but you can certainly do some off-roading. Got a little drone coverage in, so you guys seen it. Yeah, I forgot to zip up my bag here. I forgot to uh, zip up my uh, basket on the front. And uh, some trash went flying out there that I had for like an energy bar, so I had to walk back there and pick that up. But I hope you guys have enjoyed today's video for sure. But I just wanted to get some different angles. Me riding um, with a still camera. Some drone coverage. And um, a frontal coverage of the video. And now I got the handlebar uh, mount on. So just some different aspects of my ride today. I'm doing about a uh, 12 to 12 and a half mile ride. And riding again, my Mooncool TK1. On your left. So we'll just, uh, talk about our moon cool a little bit fascinating trike absolutely fascinating trike I have had zero problems with this trike since I've owned it and I've already um, on my uh, link I've already sold uh, three maybe four of these already for moon cool due to my um, videoing in my YouTube channel 
But yeah, it's just a great trike, folks. If you guys are looking for a really quality trike, you can look at this uh, Mooncool TK1. Right now it's listing for $16.99. And then if you uh, go to my link on the channel, you'll save another $200 on this trike. So yeah, that's a heck of a savings. And you can also save some money on the Mooncool 350 as well. I think there's $80 off of that one. See so yeah, how you guys can... Uh, Go to my link and uh, pick that up, you guys. So we're going to ride out of the park here. And uh, right up here is where we're going to stop the video for the uh, handlebar mount. So, yeah, I want to thank you guys for um, watching the video. Share, like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. And I will see you guys on the next video.